What's up guys, it's Kev here, and I got some action for y'all today. Today is the big day, we finally about to take the car to Dedicated Motorsports to get an ice tank installed. You know, if you don't know, a lot of people in the V, v community know, but Dedicated Motorsports, uh, um, it's a shop out here outside of uh, Fort Worth. And um, they do pretty good work, man. Um, they're going to get this ice tank installed, which, you know, it's kind of late in the summer, but, you know, it's needed anyway, though. So, you know, I might as well just go ahead and get that done. So yeah guys, it's time to finally control these IETs, man. This, this summer has been, I know I haven't had a whole lot of content for y'all strictly because it's just, it's just too hot out here, man. You know, it makes you not even want to really race the car, you know what I'm saying? I still drive it and everything, but even after a certain pool, like even from a third gear pool, my IETs reach over 160. And that's just terrible right there. So like I said, we about to get this ice tank installed and so I'll see you there. All right, guys, we just made it to DMS. Sorry, but the line's kind of bad. Like I said, guys, it's Dedicated Motorsports. It's the name of the shop. And they got some heat here, as usual. Like I said, man, it's a whole lot of V's here. Like I said, I just made it back to DMS. Now let's go check the car out. Okay. I guess um, you can uh, just kind of show me exactly like how to like how everything works and everything. Yeah, so so. Um, I guess another question. I kind of seen it online, but. Does ice kind of breaks down the brick or like, so how does that work if I was to use so, ice? So ice, you know, normally has like some corrosive properties because right. it's straight water and it's like hard water. Right. So if you're using a lot of ice all the time, you definitely want to uh, add some coolant right. to try and help keep that corrosive property down. Right. Um, but for the most part, you've got a drain valve here. Uh -huh. You want to drain it down to you know, maybe halfway so you could put about 20 pounds of ice in it right um, if you're drag racing you know it's best to try and turn the pump off when you're in the staging lanes and right. turn it on before you make your pass uh, but otherwise it's just a matter of draining and mm -hmm. refilling ice and then when you're done racing drain it down some add like a gallon of uh, antifreeze to it right and um so how did you guys route it did you route it in like a street platform or like a uh, track well, we, we do them all kind of the same way mm -hmm. because the, the idea is that the coldest water from the tank hits the brick first. Right. And then it comes out of the brick, goes into the heat exchanger, heat and then back to the back. tank. Okay. So we want the coldest water always to be in the reservoir. Right. Um, that way you have, I mean, shoot, you could probably make two passes without doing anything to the water. Right. Um, yeah, otherwise there should be a, a big fuse in here. Uh-huh. It's normally back here somewhere, yeah. Right there, there's a big maxi fuse. Oh, okay. If you ever have any issues, you can check that first. But it's just a big orange fuse. But it should never blow that fuse. Okay. Yeah, man, I really appreciate the install. I've been needing one of these. It's just, it's been so hard. I haven't even been wanting to, like, like if I was to do a pull on the last setup, you know, one small pull would just ITs go over 160, like just from a third to fourth shift. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's like it just makes you not even want to, you know, really want to race it or anything. Yeah. I just been cruising in with this heat. Yeah, like I said, good good thing boost weather is coming. Oh, it is coming for sure. Mm -hmm. And they've got a some nice like heat shielding and stuff on the wires mm -hmm. or the hoses that come up through here. Yeah, man, I appreciate everything. You want to give yourself a shout out? Like I said, I got a YouTube going on Ooh, and everything. Yeah. So yeah, man, Matt, Dedicated Motorsports, your V specialist. Uh, come check us out. We've got a website, dedicatedmotorsports.com. A lot of good products. Yes, sir. Be sure to check these guys out. Like I said, really clean install. Really got everything looking really nice. As you can see, huge LS platform here. They're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like I said, they have a big, wide range of products here. Really nice cars. I think this one's built by Hennessy. You know, they don't work to it. So yeah, guys, you guys know what to do. If you guys want to hit them up, please do. I love that carbon fiber. Of course, you got me right here. ZL1. Really nice ZL1. This in there. A lot of nice cars out here. Like I said, they are it with the CTSVs, man. So if you're out in the Dallas area, make sure you come out and check them out. You got more out this way. Of course, you got a few cars in the shop. Another view right there. Yeah, man. If you know, us know what to do. Cold start. So yeah guys, like I said, big shout out to DMS Motorsports, man. They did a really clean install on the car. And I'll give you a more in-depth, you know, update on how everything looks when I get back to the house. Got a little hour drive, you know, some light. But yeah, man, big shout out to them, man. Like I said, they a really good shop out here in uh Weatherford, Texas. It's just an hour outside of Dallas. So be sure to check them out, guys. Like I said, you know, I showed you the cars, they do a wide range of different vehicles out here. So yeah. You know, I just want to thank everybody who's, you know, been involved with the vehicle from Justin White Tuning to GMG Motorsports in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They did the start, you know what I'm saying? Your message helped me with the, you know, install on this uh, trunk tank, which I really needed. So, yeah, I just want to thank everybody for this build, man. You know, it's really, you know, it's almost done, actually. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be adding a few more things. But now we'll be able to actually get a real dyno tune with this trunk tank. You know, without heat soaking and everything so look out for that you know so i'm not sure when exactly i'm gonna you know do that but you know we'll try that out soon i'll see you guys when i get back to the crib two hours later what's up guys all right so we back at the crib let me give you guys a quick rundown on everything that got done at dedicated motorsports let's take a look at it Yeah, guys, first off, you see the really clean install. And I say they did a great job on this. Like, it's terrific. And look at this flow. I don't know if you guys remember from my last setup with the underhill tank. I really had little to no flow at all. I'm not sure what was the problem. But I installed it myself and. I don't know, for some reason I just couldn't get the flow to get how I seen other other flows was. And like I said guys, really clean install man. They got everything cleaned up for me. Engine bay looks very nice. Let's go ahead and take this off right quick. everything for me under here and like I said really clean the install man this is the hose it connects to the back of the uh, supercharger it also upgraded the fitting in the back like I said really clean install and I was also having problems with my map sensor up here and they also repinned everything for the uh, flex field sensor and everything too so like I said shout out to them they also Installed the AM wide band so I can finally do remote tuning and everything. So, like I said, really clean install on that as well. I also bought an aftermarket, aftermarket cubby. Um, I got it from some guy on Facebook. Um, all you gotta do is search on the forums if you need one. And yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. And also, guys, just a quick update on the drive home, man. It's currently like 
I think uh, this morning I was it was around maybe 80 degrees outside and you can just see the difference right there like the car typically I'm around maybe 20 to 22 degrees over ambient but today was actually around like 14 15 degrees consistently so like I said you can tell the big difference on the way um, the trunk take works compared to the underhood tank. So yeah guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. Remember the shop is called Dedicated Motorsports. You can find them anywhere online and on Facebook. And also, like I said, I wanna appreciate them for the clean install. And um, like I said, just look out. Now that I have cool temps, I can finally put the car on the dyno and see what she actually makes. So I'm gonna be planning that sometime soon. So be on the lookout for that video as well. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm gonna end it right here. Peace.